do I miss the Philippines? The the reality is, Philippines is home. Um, a lot of people don't get it until they've actually been there, done it, whatever. Um, Spain, for us, is a experience. It'll be the kids' education. The kids may see this as home at some point, but for me, the Philippines is home. Um, it's like being away. My main concern is my in-laws. You know, may sound a bit bizarre, but my parents are fine in the UK. But like the recent issues related to my mother-in-law, um, sort of highlights the risk of worrying about your family. Um, I know a lot of expats don't integrate that way. That's the strange thing. They distance themselves from their wives' relatives. Which, for me, I, I sort of understand in some ways, but many others I don't. You know, if I come from a wealthy background and my partner is not so wealthy, it doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't. Um... I explained this to somebody before, you know, when I left my ex-partner, I just took my bag of clothing because the thing is I can rebuild from nothing. Financially, money means nothing to me. I, absolutely nothing. I don't go away bitter. I don't go away argumentative and feel like I've lost something. It's like when people said to me, oh, you bring your wife to the West, that's the worst thing you could do. I'm like, my wife is free. It's her choice. She's, she can make her own decisions. If she decides in two years' time she doesn't want to be with me, that's her choice. I am not holding somebody back from their own free choices. Um, so I would say on that, it's just like, you worry too much. If you're worried about that now and you're together, then... Maybe you're in the wrong relationship. Myself, life is about happiness, and that's purely it. In Spain, my kids are happy. In the Philippines, they were happy, but here in Spain, their education's shooting forward quite well because they have they've gone from a school with about sixteen, twenty kids to maybe a thousand. So they're already ahead of the other classes and they're already ahead because their education was one to one etc so the reading writing numbers you know the numerical skills they're ahead of everybody else already and today will be gadgets turned up so he'll be starting electronics soon to get him ahead probably 10 years well I'm not being funny a lot of this stuff I'll, I'll say to this this to you very bluntly can you connect this up to a computer and program it to even switch an LED on a, a light bulb let's just call it a light bulb because within the next week my son could and he's only five years old um, and it's not being arrogant or something I see where People need to be taught things. My my kids are multilingual. So long term, we will return to the Philippines. This year, when I say this year, I'm talking 2016, not 2015. Because <laughs> um, we're only about a week away. Um, less than a week away, <laughs> just looking at the calendar. Um, the Philippines is home. It's our core place. I can return to the Philippines and just sit on my backside for 20 years if I wanted to. I'm already bringing in a lot, well, as much as most people's pensions are before I start earning money. Um, so the fact is, we're already at sustainable level for the Philippines. Here in Spain, it's, it's a little bit harder. But I want the kids to have an education and a passport that opens the world. The world's in a very difficult time at the moment with the changes going on where you're finding Europe is playing very difficult games in the Middle East at the moment. And I don't know what they're playing at. They're, they're messing up big time, whatever they're doing. Um, but at the same time, 
my kids will come out ahead of the game because I'm seeing it that we don't rely on anything. You know, in the UK, people go, I have a right to unemployment benefit. I have a right to housing. I have a right to this. If you diminish all that, remove it all, and go, right, how do we make this happen? That's where we come from. We don't assume nothing. We build it from nothing, and we take nothing for granted. As such, we rely on nothing. If you rely on nothing, nobody can take anything away from you. And that's why, yes, I miss the Philippines, but I'm seeing this as a bit of a adventure in some ways because the kids get to experience a part of the world they haven't seen before. My wife gets to experience the food, culture, and environment of other parts of the world. And at some point, we can return whenever we feel like it. The Philippines is there. Because the, the other side of this being is we already have a footing where a lot of people don't. We have property there. We have rentals. We have an income there. We've got online incomes. We're already sustainable for the Philippines. What's different is I want things to progress for the kids, which is why coming to Europe is so important because they need to get ahead of the game. Once they're ahead... Um, we could move to the Philippines. I don't know. I can't say permanent because, as I've stated before, I'm more of a world citizen. It would be our base, but I've still got a motorcycle ride across India to do. I've still got uh, to experience South America. I've still got to experience more of Europe, spend more time in Eastern Europe. Um, becoming a person I want to be. Uh, it's hard to define. It's, you know, languages interest me. Because with Spanish, I'm starting to get into this like, well, hang on, Spanish and Latin are very, um, Sp Spanish and Italian are very similar. Then I start seeing some German words within the Spanish and uh, a mix of the English to be changed the ends and stuff. And I'm thinking two years in Spain, I could be multilingual in probably seven languages um, just by concentrating on it. So the Philippines is important to me because that's my home. You know, it's more of a home than the UK is. The UK is not home to me. It, the UK is very alien. It's very selfish. It's very um, I, I can't, it's hard to describe without swearing. It's just not me. It's got every, UK is everything I'm not. It sort of detests me in many ways from its lies to itself. It's um, it's like a peacock. A peacock has big feathers, you know, the male peacock. It's still just a chicken. The UK is like that. It has all its fluffy feathers telling you it's something fantastic. But behind it is nothing more than a, a chicken. It's just a bird. It's nothing. It's irrelevant. Um, its financial market is based on debt. If people stop paying the debt and just all declare bankruptcy the UK economy would collapse overnight. It's worthless. The UK is worthless. It's destroyed its farming. It's destroyed its infrastructure. It sold its steel off to China recently, which is where Cameroon sort of lost a bit of favour, if you could lose any more. Its power plants are French. Its um, infrastructure for electrics are American. There is no such thing as being British. And I try to get other people to understand this. Britain does not exist. Um, maybe I should do another video on that because I'm sure that will let some sparks fly. <laughs> but the whole point is I've got more in common with the Philippines than I do with the UK. And that's why it's home. Yeah.